The following report contains flash photography. It is an unprecedented mission to verify, remove and destroy more than a thousand tons of deadly chemical agents from a country engaged in intense and unpredictable violence. The verification is ongoing. The ambitious deadline for the removal of the most dangerous chemicals is the end of December. After struggling to find a country willing to host the destruction, the Americans stepped in. Journalists gathered in Damascus to hear how a specially modified U.S. naval vessel will provide an offshore solution. All the packed and sealed chemical agents will arrive from different sites in Latkeia. Um, then it will be transported to other ships by other member states that will send it to, uh, in principle, a U.S. vessel. It will not be in Syrian territorial waters. And the head of the joint mission told them she was cautiously optimistic. We're working to make sure we can meet all the deadlines. If there is a delay, either due to an obstacle unforeseen, a very simple example, you can have a delay in the packaging material arriving or the distribution. If there's a difficulty because of the closure of the Damascus Homs Road, which of course first and foremost is impacting the civilian population, but it's also delaying our work. These are all variables. We have to plan for success. We need to always look at fallback scenarios, if ever, but this is always the plan by the Syrian Arab Republic. It's the government plan. The leftovers will be less toxic, similar to industrial byproducts, but still no country has offered to be the dumping site and environmental groups are worried they may be released at sea. All sides denied being responsible for this attack in the Damascus suburbs last August. But it was this use of chemical weapons against civilians that galvanized the international community to act. The speed at which these plans to remove the deadly stockpiles are progressing reflects the urgency with which the task is being undertaken. Human rights groups, though, point out that the use of conventional weapons has been responsible for more than 100,000 deaths in Syria and urge the international community not to forget that. The OPCW says the progress with chemical weapons shows what can be achieved when all sides are willing to work together towards a solution. Anna Holligan, BBC News.